everybody, this is Tambiota, and I'm back with another Transformers video review. This time we have Transformers Subscription Service 4.0 figure number 5. So, this is a brown box, so you know what time it is. It's Thunder Mayhem time! Apparently, I've been saying it wrong. I've been saying Thunder Mania this whole time, and nobody said anything on it. So, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Dude, dream me out for Hot Shot, but... Not this. Thanks. Thanks. I thought you guys were, were my friends and stuff. So, But uh, as you can see, this is a, a, a much larger box than normal. So we'll open this up. And we do have uh, this black foam on the inside here. And we peel this away. And we have uh, a bludgeon here. So... Go ahead and uh, remove the figure. We'll just set that off to the side. Remove the foam insert. And we have two weapons for him. Uh, these are actually uh, these are actually from the Japanese uh, Optimus X Prime from uh, Transformers Go, uh, which I actually have a review up, so you can check that out. And we have his instructions uh, along with his bio card. So it's cool. Take a look at that in just a little bit. Alright, so here is a bio card, so you can just check that out there. You can pause and read that at your own leisure, or uh, you can actually check it out on my Facebook page that'll be up there. Uh, here's his technical data. Shows his skill is a 10, and then his speed uh, is, is a 9. So those are his top two attributes. Uh, we have uh, Thunder Mayhem here uh, on his instructions. And uh, we got these uh, two swords here. So just taking a look at this, it looks like there's a way for them to uh, connect these. And I, I see what they did to uh, get these on here. And uh, before you say anything, no, I didn't mistransform it. There's actually an issue with my figures here. Uh, so I'm leaving this up. I'm not flipping these back anymore. Um, uh, and I'll show you in just a little while why. So if I take this off, um, I'm actually going to go like this. Um, so, so I'm just looking at pictures on the internet here. And it uh, looks like they were going and taking this and... having these in like that so then um, the swords could actually be attached in his vehicle mode it's kinda cool yeah. didn't see that I, I had thought about trying to find a way to uh, attach those and I couldn't figure it out but uh, right before uh, um, the video I um, got on the internet and was looking up some stuff and saw this on there. So cool. Thank you, internet. Yeah, so this is the very last. Well, this isn't the very last figure. This is the second to last figure uh, in this year's uh, subscription service. But this is the last figure for Thunder Mayhem. So we can actually make that. And I will. Uh, I'll be doing another video exclusively on Thunder Mayhem. This video is just going to be on Bludgeon. So if you're looking for a combination, uh, next video, please. So uh, let's just get on with this guy here. All right, so the issues that I have with the feet here, I'm going to take this off so that we can go in and, and take a look at it. with the feet well, it's still no it's not long enough okay 
That's why they did it that way. <clears throat> so if you don't have um, the blades in, then you can just attach it, attach the um, the weapons like this, and that'll stay like that. <clears throat> All right. So uh, you can also take these and lower these down if you want to. But the issues with the legs, uh, or specifically in with the feet. So if you take a look, um, basically the pin that goes through here and then goes into here has cracked these. These shattered off and came off on both sides. On this side also. I had to super glue them back together. Uh, you can actually see the crack right there and then the uh, leftover super glue on there. Uh, both of them. Uh, first time just flipping it out, flipping the foot out, uh, plastic broke off. So I don't know if uh, they were over drilled, they weren't drilled enough, uh, they were forced in. I have no idea, but uh, plastic broke on them. And um, so what I did was I went ahead and put the feet down uh, just so that they would be in uh, a stationary manner. I uh, then went and put uh, Bondo, not Bondo, uh, Bondic on the inside of here and then uh, tempered it so that uh, they won't flip back up by accident or they won't move at all uh, so that I um, I won't potentially break it anymore. Um, hopefully uh, nobody else is having these kind of issues. If you've gotten this figure and you haven't messed with it yet, be forewarned that that could be an issue uh, because it happened on both of mine. So, <clears throat> Okay, so to transform this guy into robot form. Uh, basically, we'll take this and go across here. Oh, uh, this guy does have the same issues that uh, Victorian has in that... Um, they put these on upside down uh, so there's two ways that you can do this either you can take this apart um, which this portion right here is glued so you have to break the glue uh, to get in there and then you can cut off the uh, the the tab portion you can kind of see where I cut it at uh, you can cut that off with uh, a knife or whatever But there's no way to flip it around without pulling pins, basically. Um, so basically the easiest thing to do is just to cut it off. Or if you don't want to pull it apart uh, and you have some long fingernail clippers, you can get in there and clip those. So uh, I did it both ways. Both ways worked. Uh, I think this leg right here was the one that I used the, the fingernail clippers on. Uh, so that you can then uh, basically go like this and then lock uh, the leg into it. Um, come on. There it goes. So it's locked in. Take this, go back down. these down alright All right, so now that I have that like that let me raise up this a little bit more um, so first thing we'll do is take the arms split them apart like that Flip these down like that. Take this and we can flip this under. Under here like that. And that'll stay, these stay up like this. 
and we'll lower the arms down. This flips down. Lower the arms down. Flip this panel down. Right, then you can flip this and then flip that around and there you have Bludgeon's head. So that's a brand new head sculpt. Uh, both the heads on this guy are brand new head sculpts. But like I said, um, I'm not going to be showing off the head on this. Um, I will show it off in uh, the combined version or the combined video. So you'll be able to see that there. Um, he does have his swords, so push those in there. Dude, he looks wicked with these swords. These swords are boss, uh, man. They were boss with uh, the Optimus. And they are boss with this guy, too. So, very nice. Very cool, exclusive. Only gripe that I have is in with uh, the pins here. Uh, that would be on the inside this time. So... His articulation is the same as Hotspot. And with uh, Victorian and with um, uh, Onslaught. So everything is exactly the same. You got your, your joint here, your joint here, your joint here, your double elbow, your twist. Um, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. At the hips you have two joints, one to move it forward back, one to move it out. They're ratcheting. Uh, then you have your knee joint. And uh, I'm not moving this, I'm leaving this static, so, yeah. yeah very nice. Uh, so you can get a, uh, a kind of a glimpse of the head right here, of the combiner head. Let's take a look at uh, this exclusive head. Very nice, man. I like this figure. I like this figure a lot in this mode, man. Uh, the way that they put the colors in here, very reminiscent of him. Very reminiscent of him. And then with the, with the guns and stuff like that, makes it look like a tank. So, very good, very good. Very good use of, of, a, of a already existing mold. So, cool. Well, I'm going to make this short and sweet. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos along with the combined video of Thunder Mayhem. Please like, subscribe. I am on Facebook. This has been Tambiota. I'll see you guys next time.